And here we are guys, right, let us move forward, yes I believe, and then let's put the throttle on. It's around 17.25, so I'll maybe split the next, split the video about maybe quarter to six on the, on, on the, this is game time by the way, not real life time. Although it is actually, it, ironic, coincidentally, it is actually 5.27 in real life now, where I am. So that's, uh, that's almost link times. By the way, pass interview. I'll wait until we're on the open road because I, I want a nice an open road, an open track. Because I, I, I want a nice little surprise to see what the pass interview is like. I'm assuming that we'll actually get a good pass interview because we're actually hauling passengers now, which which is a bit of a it's a bit of a new experience because all the ones in the Cajon Pass were just freight runs pretty much. So yeah, it's, it's nice to actually be transporting passengers, transporting people, rather than coal and metal and rocks and shit like that. Has it actually stopped raining, by the way? I can't tell. I think it stopped raining. Yep, it's it stopped raining, but the rain's just sticking on, sticking onto the damn wind windshield. That's a bit annoying. Oh well. Can't really do much about that. The, that that's the freaking rain for you. It just does what it wants. Alright, just go up via pass, uh, Castle Rock Junction 1 and 10 miles. Ready guys, passenger view. Holy shitballs. Again, I'm actually the only one on this train apparently, which, which is interesting. Are we able to... No, we, we can zoom in, which is nice. I don't actually think we can move to side to side now. No, this this is just our designated seat for this journey, isn't it? Really? Yeah, we're we're coming into a 60 zone now, anyway, which is which is great. Oh, I better save as well, because honestly, we can't can't freaking take any risks. Hmm. A few buildings over there, nice little city, or a town I should say, it doesn't look, it looks, it look much like a city. Actually, the question you have to ask, ask is, it, uh, is, does it have a cathedral? Because if I'm not mistaken, if a city has a cathedral, it is, it is literally considered a city, isn't it? You know, if, if a place has a cathedral, it's considered a city, if I'm not mistaken, which is very... Very nice indeed. So yeah, if anyone fences building a town, just build a cathedral, and you're instantly becoming a city. I don't think uh, you have to have a cathedral to be a city, but if you do have a city, if you do have a cathedral, you are a city apparently, which is remarkable. It's it's, it's a very odd rule, that isn't it? If you ha if you have a city. If you have a city, if you have, yeah, if you have a city, you have a cathedral. No, if you have a cathedral, you ha you are a city. <coughs> so honestly, I, w I wonder if somebody could just put a cathedral in in the middle of a, in the middle of a desert, <laughs> and you just that 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 image area would be instantly considered a city. <laughs> that would be odd, wouldn't it? No, it's, it's very nice to have an actual passenger view on this train now, though. Rather than just sitting in the back for, a, for the employees only area. A fucking employees only area on the train, whoever thought that would happen. Ah, fucking high speed journey, this though. Oh, the rain's disappeared from the windows, thank God for that. I should realize that th this front train is very much different, isn't it? It's very, very different from the ones that. Oh, 600 volts! Ah! Sorry. But yeah, it's, it's very different from the ones that we, uh, from the ones that we were driving on the Calhoun Pass. The uh, the ones that were driving on the Calhoun Pass is pretty much the ones at the back, well, the, the ones that were at the back anyway. Those ones are very similar to the Calhoun Pass trains, but this one looks very unique indeed. 
Is it an electrical train, this? I, th I think it is. And it's, it's, it looks very much like an electrical train. I, I think they are electrical trains. But don't, don't electrical trains usually, usually have those pantograph things that stick out the top of the... Is that the top of the train? I'm not, not sure. Oh well, whatever. I'm not here to uh, discuss types of trains. I'm here to drive these types of trains. And everybody loves driving trains. Yippee do that. Um, I'm not, I'm not, have you seen this? The throttle is on 100% and we're slowing down. The brakes on zero, the throttle's at 100% and we're slowing down. Ye gods, ye gods. Oof, that, that, that is just batshit crazy, so. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did I just hear Foreman Dan Hernandez on the radio? I swear, if former Dan Hernandez is on this radio, I, I will just go crazy, because he, he, he doesn't have to do a lot of work, doesn't he, on the Calhoun Pass and the uh, Cast Castle Rock Railroads, I think I think this, this place is called, yeah. I, 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 I think this, this, old, this old route's called the Castle Rock Railroad. I think. I can't guarantee that, but I hope it is. There, there, there is a place called Castle Rock on the route, so, you know. Let's see what the passenger view is like at this ultimate high speed. Oh, it's amazing. Just just truly thrilling. It'd be a bit awkward if... Uh, honestly, I'd, uh, honestly, can, can you imagine if this train just came to a sudden stop, like it just immediately stops? Oh, the... What the fuck is that? Oh, it's the door. I think. Is, is it the door? I can't tell if it, I can't tell if it's the door or it's something on the just on the seat in front of me. No, I'm pretty sure it's the door. It looks looks a, it's a very very poorly rendered door. Jesus Christ! <laughs> poorly rendered doors for the win for the win. Just just under 5.7 miles now to the uh, Larkspur through 1A. It's a very odd name for the location on a railroad track, Larkspur through 1A. That's, that's very, very odd, but whatever. Moving on, moving on. <sighs> oh, it's, uh... It's... Ah. It's... It's Ayers Rock. Yeah, that's, that's it. I was about to say the Grand Canyon, but no, it's, it's Ayers Rock. That, 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 that place in Australia. The massive rock, which always looks red in, in, in sun. Yeah, that's Ayers Rock in it. Yeah, that's Ayers Rock over there, definitely. Yeah. I can guarantee that. Also, is, is the Castle Rock Railroad actually uh, in America as well? Or is it in a different country? I'm not quite sure. The, the, the only line which I would actually be able to tell you is not in America is the Seattle Carlisle line. Because obviously I live in Carlisle in real life and Carlisle is definitely in uh, England. Although, I think there might be a place called Carlisle in America. But Seattle Carlisle is definitely an English railroad. But, um. Actually, I think actually, I actually think America and Britain share a lot of city names, don't they? Like, I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's a Manchester, I'm sure there's a Birmingham, I think there's a Newcastle. I think there's a Carlisle as well. Yeah. There's a lot of stolen names there. <laughs> nah. I mean, uh, I, I, I suppose we didn't exactly put copyright on them, did we? Probably, probably should have been able to sue. Sue for plagiarism of names. Aye, aye. Aye. Let's have a look what's happening in the... F Holy shit! I was scared there. I thought, I thought the train was like tilting to the side because of the way this freaking window's 
looking. Good grief. <laughs> I don't want that to happen again. It's still cloudy as hell, Jesus Christ. Does does the sun exist on this track? Because I swear pretty much the whole the whole route, the whole time I've been on this route so far, it's just been cloudy. It's horrible. It's too damn cloudy, man. Too damn cloudy. I haven't actually been able to see any 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 underground power lines on this track either, which is a bit of a disappointment, honestly. I, I miss those underground power lines. It doesn't make any sense the freaking power lines would go underground, but the Cajon Pass just proved that it was actually possible. Is that a tornado in the background there, or is that just my eyes spray trick something with that little swirl, like the pike of wind there? Uh, or clouds, whatever, whatever they call Danger, danger, high voltage. Hmm. I'm not sure how the rest of the song goes. Oh, another train. Hi. So, more double freight. I think we're, we're, only, we're only taking passenger trains in that. Oh, you can actually see the passengers in the back there. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, they are actually all... Oh my god, she got smacked in the face with a double freight. Yeah, they're actually all passenger carriages now. Which is nice. We better start slowing down here, actually, because we're coming into a 45 zone, which, which does require a pretty rapid speed decrease. Train track. This very precarious hills. If you're, if you're freaking derailed, then you're, then you're on your you're on your way down. Level crossing. I I'm, I miss those. I probably came over that before and didn't even notice it. But yeah, level crossing. You see, everyone loves a good level crossing. Me. How can you not love a good level crossing, honestly? This is half a level crossing. The, the, yeah, the cars are going under me, so... Yeah, it's, it's half a level crossing. That looks like uh, some, something off The Walking Dead there, actually. Uh, yeah. But again, I, I do stress the fact that, that everything looks like everything to me, honestly. If I see something, I will I will liken it to something from a different video game instantly. Honestly, I always do. Nice few warehouses and cars. There's, again, there's probably a drug deal going on there, as always. Can't uh, can't have a warehouse look without a drug deal. They well, probably can, but it's America, so I, I apologise. Pro probably being a bit offensive there. Cars! Oh, sorry. I always get excited about the sight of cars, but not quite as excited as I do uh, of the sight of trains. No, I, I always love a good train myself, yeah. I haven't, I haven't been on a train in ages in real life. I really, I really want to go on one now, actually. Larkspur through 1A is just here, any minute now, we'll go through it, and bang. Yep, Glen Park South 1 is our next objective, I will just save here. We're also about to start going uphill, actually we are going uphill now, aren't we, so... We're slowing down a tad, so I will, I will just pull the throttle up a bit. I say a bit, that would be probably a pretty big increase to be fair, but, you know, what can you do, what can you do?
Were those cracks on the road, or was that, was that the shrubbery? Because honestly, if those are cracks, the government needs to have a look at themselves. Because that is seriously poor road management to me, it's good god. That's just a health hazard. Potholes everywhere. Aye, aye, aye. Union Pacific. I've seen that name too many times already. <laughs> it's every freaking mission so far, I think. I can't wait to drive that Union Pacific Big Boy, which is constantly mentioned in those uh, loading screens. Let's go back to the passenger for a second, see so how things look back there. St still nobody's magically appeared on the train, unfortunately. It's a bit of a shame. We're about to enter a 55 zone, which is great, so we don't really need to worry about slowing down right now. Uh, 55 about now, I'd say. Yep, there we are. So I think I'll just actually split the video now, guys. It'll probably save a bit of hassle. So, yeah. See you in this episode, guys, hopefully.